Well, hi, it's day five of Wiring the Abyss 2012 on board the RV Thomas G. Thompson. I'm Kate Moran, the chief scientist, and we just launched Ropos once again. I can't tell you the number of times, but it's, but it's quite a few. Ropos is now going down once again to install more instruments in the vicinity of Barkley Canyon. And it's almost the end of the fifth day. And earlier today, we had a really exciting survey using Ropost. Ropost has instruments on the bottom of it that have acoustic sensors that allow us to actually image the seafloor in great detail. And we did this. We, we surveyed using Ropost a relatively small area in Barkley Canyon where some exciting geology is happening right now. We discovered this yesterday when we went back to what's called Wally Land, where we swapped out Wally. Wally 2 came up, Wally 1 went down, and you can read more about Wally on our blog. But as we were doing this, we wandered up past Wally Land, where this crawler actually investigates the seafloor 24 7 and found that there was this new seafloor mound that had just come up. We don't quite understand them, but they're filled with a substance called gas hydrates. They're pushing the seafloor up. Some of the gas may be escaping. And we also found that there was actually oil coming out of the sediment in these mounds. This is a sediment core that was taken in what's called Wally Land, where Wally, uh, our crawler, has been doing mapping by Lorenz Thompson. But we need to document issues about what's happening in Wally Land because gas hydrate is a very dynamic substance and it we think that it it actually grows and deforms sediment and and this if you look at this sediment it looks like it had been frozen and thawed so it's likely that this had gas hydrate in it but gas hydrate is not stable at at normal room temperature in this pressure so while it came up it was sublimating so the gas was coming out of its hydrated form and so if you took some mud from your backyard and you put it you looked at it, it had, say you could core it and had layers in it, you took it, you put it in your freezer, and you took it back out and thought no structure would be left. Because that freeze thaw process, and so a sub, yeah, and there was a bound, so the hydrate was probably down here and this was probably a little bit better. To the top, yeah. Yeah. So the hydrate's in the middle. Yeah, and, the and that whole gap was, yeah. was probably hydrate. And so this is just giving us an example of where the hydrate is and maybe in the future we can quantify it once we get some pressure cores. Anyone else would like to comment? We have a great team here, dedicated. They re they're here on time, rigging the, the, the row posts, coming in, processing the cores right away. You can't beat this team. So we did a survey today to basically get a baseline of the formation of these seafloor features that pop up and then collapse. And we'll come back maybe in six months and a year and see how they change. So stay tuned for more exciting results from Wiring the Abyss 2012.